Once you have created a Blogger account, it's very easy to set up your blog so that people can just email to it and it will immediately post. So once you've set up your blog and you've created the blog and it's ready to go, you'll notice that there'll be a new post button so you can just start posting right from the internet. Or to the right of new post, there are some links. We're going to go to the settings link. If you click on settings, it takes you to the settings of just the one blog that you want to work with. So right now, um, I'm inside the settings of the New Tech Faculty Meetings blog. If I go across the top, there's basic, publishing, formatting, and keep going to the right, you're going to see an email and mobile link. If you click on email and mobile, it will bring you to the email notifications area. So you can choose to send um, notifications every time you post to certain email addresses. What we're going to go to is the posting options. If you'll notice here, email postings address. Right now it's ngarvey1 dot, and I'm going to put in my words that I'd like as an email, um, dot newtech at blogger.com. If I use this address to post text and images up to 10 megabytes directly to my blog. So right now I have, I have the choice, publish emails immediately. That way, if soon as anybody emails me at ngarvey.newtech at blogger.com, that will immediately set up a blog post on my blog. Um, if you want them to save those emails as draft posts, then as the teacher, you could go in and view the blogs and then accept them and post them. Um, you can also add your mobile devices too, but we're really just looking at this email posting. Once you create the email address, you can give that email address to your students or to other participants, and then they can post to your blog immediately without having to log in and then go to the blog and post. Hope this works for you.